Dear students, now we discuss about hidden Markov model. Uh, it is called hidden because in this model, the actual states are hidden from uh, the observer. Uh, so we calculate uh, about the hidden states by using the observations. So these are the, the these are normal cold and easier observations in markov chain we just had states but now we have at some more thing that is observations so the uh, concept of hidden markov model is that by using these observations we predict about these states which will be hidden to us so uh, let's uh, revise the initial concepts of initial probabilities and transition probabilities so in this diagram the initial probabilities are actually the probabilities of the starting state so the, the probability of a starting healthy state is 0.6 and a starting fever state is 0.4 so these are initial probabilities and the probability of moving from one state to the next state or from one state to the same state is called transition probability so these are uh, 0.6 and 0.4 and these 0.3 and 0.7 these are actually transition probabilities so in this diagram uh, these are new uh, type of probabilities which are called emission probabilities the emission probabilities are actually uh, some sort of conditional probabilities so this line means the probability of being normal given the state is fever so it's actually uh, you know uh, like conditional probability so the probability of being normal given the state is fever is 0.1 and the probability of cold given the state is fever is 0.3 and the probability of dizzy given the state is state given the state fever is 0.6 so given the state fever we have 0.1 probability here 0.3 here and 0.6 here and if we sum all these three probabilities which are red, uh, marked with red line 0.1 plus 0.3 will be 0.4 and plus 0.6 that will be 1 so the sum of all the emission probabilities for a given state is 1 similarly the sum of all the emission probabilities for this, this healthy state is also 1 0.1 plus 0.4 plus 0.5 that is 1 so uh, this is a hidden Markov model by using this model uh, we will be predicting about these states by using the input of observations so in the next lecture we will uh, have an, an input of these observations and we will predict the current state of the system so for that purpose we use um, uh, a version of hidden Markov model and that version is called forward algorithms so so stay tuned for that lecture